Hey all, this is Jenna from the Kelly Bell Designs creative team. And in my last tutorial using Kelly Bell Designs products and the Project Life app, we built this page together. Be sure to check that out, we'll link it below. But you've made this page, you've added your cards and photos and journaling, now what? What do you do with it? Well, you can give it a name. So let's tap on the export arrow in the lower right and update the page information. I'm gonna call this um, Disney World, and this will be my page one. When I open a book, you know, there's the cover, and then there's that single page, and then page two and three is that first double page spread. So you can also change the date here, and you tap in that little uh, space here, and then if you tap down here, you can scroll back to the actual date if you want it. Mine was, 30th, 2022. And then you have to tap apply to make those changes stick. So tap apply. And now you've named and dated your page. You don't have to redate it if you don't want to. You can leave it whatever. But I definitely recommend naming it something because if you save to a cloud, it will matter. So I'm just going to first save this to my photos app. So I'm going to save the image. And then I also want to go ahead and export it to my preferred cloud, which is OneDrive. So I'm going to tap on OneDrive and upload to OneDrive. And now that page will be in my cloud. I can go to my computer, download it, where my computer gets backed up to a hard drive and you know my photos are backed up as well. So I have that in multiple places and I won't lose it. I leave it in the app until the project is fully done and printed. And then I do delete the pages. And you may have seen this option right here, the editable backup. That is if you wanna store the page file offsite out of the app, but be able to bring it back into the app to make some changes. I don't do that. I don't have enough storage space for that. I save the image. And if I need to recreate a page, it's easy enough in the app. I just recreate it, which in my almost 10 years of using the app, I've only done once because I labeled entire countries wrong on a work trip of my husband's. Otherwise, I let a typo stand. If I duplicated a picture on a layout, you know, a couple of pages later in a book, I leave it. I do not get too uh, wrapped up in that, but... That's an option if you want to keep it. Okay, let's move on to, oh, you know what? Let me show you one thing. While we're talking about exporting the images, you can customize this share sheet a lot of different ways. If you tap edit actions, you can move um, options up or down, whichever ones you use most, put at the top. You can also edit these options um, right here trying to scroll, there we go, by tapping more and edit, and you can toggle some of these on and off, and you can also uh, move them around as well. So whatever you use most, put at the top or put on the far left. And this app right here, we'll talk about in another video. That's gonna be fun. So that's how you can edit that if you need to. Let me show you some more things in the app that we did not talk about in our last video. So this is the uh, layouts option, and here are all the free layouts that the app comes with. And you can also press and hold to favorite ones, and you'll find them under your favorites tab. Here are some of mine. And then um, there are plenty of packs you can purchase. There are plenty of in-app purchases in this app. You can also change the corners from square to rounded, which is that classic Project Life app look, but I leave mine square. So let me tap it back there and tap done and go back to the page. Um, here's where you can change the background color if you wanted. I rarely do that. I pretty much stick to white or a very light neutral background. And it's this one is very subtle. You can change the color palette by tapping here and choosing another kit. You can see how bright and colorful that one is. And the this, this one has a lot of neutrals in it. This is a really good option as well if you like a little bit of a contrast. But I pretty much leave it on this one right here. 
It's just a subtle, subtle difference. That's an option. Anyway, those are some basics about the layouts, but let's go ahead and create a folder for this new project I'm working on. So I want to make a new folder to keep myself organized with these pages, and I'm just going to call it Disney World 2022, and I'm going to create that folder. Now I'm going to close this out and go back. This is, I'm in my pages library. Let me show you from the home screen. I'm in the library section, pages, and then there are options up here for different things. If you have a page that doesn't have all of the pockets filled, it'll be an in progress. If all the pockets are filled on the page, no matter if you're done with it or not, it'll be in this area. So here are my folders and the most recent one I created will be on the left. You cannot reorganize these, but let's open the folder and let me add another page to it. I created a cover page. So let me add that. And I want to sort the pages within my folders by folder order. If you're on an Android device, I think it's called custom sort, but this allows you to you know, press and hold and move a page around. I'm going to add another thing I've made to the folder. This is a four by six with a plain white neutral card in it. And I just put a little note on there that these pages are saved and backed up. So now as I save this one as well, sorry, I'm not using the cursor. Um, then now I have both of these images saved and backed up and I can make sure this is in the right spot. So it's telling me with this arrow here, these are saved and backed up. Good, I don't need to continually save them to my device if I forget. I'm trying to keep myself semi-organized. Here's my 2024 album. I've got it in here. The only thing I've saved and backed up is my first layout of the, of the year for January. And I'll keep working on that as the year progresses, along with this Disneyland trip and this Disney World trip. So I look forward to scrapping with you guys. And of course, I need to finish 2023. Yeah, I sure do. I'm way behind. I also have some recipe cards that I make um, using the 4 by 6 section. But I look forward to finishing more Disney World and Disneyland pages and... We will scrap again soon. Happy app scrapping, everybody. Thanks so much.